Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's talk some Dogecoin because right now there's some crazy numbers, some very abnormal numbers I wanna get into in this video. So Doge Army, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, make sure you guys all subscribe down below, smash that like button, and let's get into some talking about some Doge, all right? So here we are today. We're gonna to look at the crypto bubbles real quick. I'm gonna show you guys what's going on. And please remember though, guys, this is not financial advice, but we'll look at the top 20 market caps right here in crypto and Dogecoin sitting here at eighth uh, with a market cap of 14.29 billion, uh, basically flat, a 0.1% on the day. And you can see right now, if we look over the month, we are still continuing to slide um, down below we were at below 10 cents. So I did a video where we talked about, would you rather have a Dogecoin or a dime? So kind of where I'm at, we'll see what happens, but uh, below 10 cents is kind of where I look for Dogecoin in an accumulation range. And now we are still uh, looking as we continue to climb up the market caps. Will we touch seven? Will we touch six? That's yet to be determined. We're gonna need a big, big push, but it's important to understand Dogecoin is still up 53.8% on the year. And that's kind of where we stand within some of the numbers surrounding Doge, the market caps and crypto uh, across the board in the top 100. It's a, it's a very much a red day. Uh, I hate talking about crypto when it's like this. It's very frustrating as a trader. Um, it's very frustrating as you know, someone here on YouTube that has to talk about crypto. Uh, I really like my job being easier. And when we're in green, when we're talking about good things happening, catalysts, all this good stuff, it's, it's a very, very exciting feeling. And it's a lot more easy uh, to kind of, you know, get the good news across to you guys. I, I don't want to be the guy that, you know, continues to just ruin people's days when we're seeing continued slides into the red, um, not just within Dogecoin, but with a lot of other cryptos. There's, there's a lot of people watching uh, me here today in this video that don't just own Dogecoin. Okay, so that's very important to understand. And yes, I'm going to keep 100. I'm going to share the good news, the bad news, and any news in between, because quite frankly, it's all relevant. If you hold Dogecoin, you definitely want to watch this channel. But let's get back into it and what we came here to talk about we saw a 925% increase in the last 24 hours in an abnormal liquidation imbalance. Now, what does this mean? Well, looking at the data from CoinGlass, right? The last 24 hours, we've seen a lot of bearish news from Dogecoin. I got an alert earlier today. The Dogecoin futures are down. Uh, we are in the negative with the NAT and short positions have opened uh, on the derivatives market within the number equating to $842 plus thousand dollars. All right. So, that seems to be kind of the storyline, but compared to the da data uh, in in line with the long positions, all right, this is really relevant because it's a it's completely imbalanced, and that's where we're seeing the long positions uh, equaling about ninety one plus thousand, so ninety one six forty to be exact. So that's a nine hundred twenty five percent indifference uh, within the imbalance that we see with the bulls and the bears as we continue to wage on that war. Uh, that war, uh, why is Dogecoin down? So let's get into some of the reasons and how this is possible. Well, uh, from the 2nd to the 3rd of November, I'm sorry, September, excuse me, the price of Dogecoin soared about 6%. It got up above that dime level above 10 cents at the peak of the rise. And most of this came in about three hours time when uh, Dogecoin added 3% in two consecutive hours uh, yesterday on the charts. But as today uh, continues, we've basically uh, a accompanied more bears into the market. And that's where a lot of people are betting on Dogecoin to fall uh, back down below 10 cents to uh, nine and some change, thus contributing to the price of this upward kickoff. Now, interesting enough, what we've seen is the meme coin has delivered on the bear side, but only after a crazy 925% imbalance was recorded. Currently, just in the last hour and a half, the price of Dogecoin had fallen about 2.91%. And now Dogecoin is trading at uh, like I said a little bit earlier, this is where we're at as we look into Doge uh, trading at the 0981 range. So nothing really has changed. Uh, however, this is suggesting that when we look into what Dogecoin is doing, uh, that we have seen a, a basically a huge roller coaster. Okay. And this is something where as a holder, it's very rocky. It's very tough. Uh, but this is something where at the end of the day, um, Dogecoin being boring, trading around a dime, uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing, right? It's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, we could have a lot worse environments, right? We could be having 20% decreases, right? We could be down to seven cents, six cents, back to where we were, you know, way back when before we had Bitcoin ascend to all time highs. 
and just giving back all those gains. Now, um, having some stability in these negative days isn't necessarily a bad thing like I've alluded to. Um, but for me, I want to see Dogecoin get back above 13 cents. 13 to 16 cents for Doge is kind of the market uh, where I think it's con uh, comfortable consolidating at. And that's kind of where the territory is uh, where I want to see Dogecoin get back to once again. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, we do have that imbalance going on. And quite frankly, it's painful to talk about because it seems to be there's more bears and bulls in the market. But we need to see kind of something to push us, right? Um, unfortunately, Dogecoin trades along side Bitcoin pretty well. But Bitcoin hit all-time highs and Dogecoin continue to lag below. Uh, that's just very frustrating as a trader. Can't really explain it uh, other than the fact that, you know, meme coins are a little bit diluted uh, and there is a lot of fear in the market. So uh, it seems to be there's two different traders, right? The people that are in it for the long haul and they're into the big boys or the other ones that are just looking for those short pumps into some more uh, liquid and volatile meme coins out there uh, in short-term trades. So that's kind of my rundown for today. If you do like Dogecoin, I appreciate you guys and make sure you all subscribe down below. Turn on that notification bell. That way you never miss a beat when we do talk crypto here on the channel in specific Dogecoin, which we do on a daily basis. So appreciate you all. Follow me on X as well. The handle is in the bottom left of your screen. And we'll see you guys all tomorrow in the next video. Cheers.